Hey guys, welcome back to Simply Kayla. My name is Kayla if you're new here. Thank you for tuning in to another video. So in this video, I decided to do my no makeup makeup routine. Now, this will be my second time doing this. <laughs> That's true. I know what you're probably thinking, like Kayla, your second time doing this, how is just your routine? But just follow me. So I had tried it one day because I'm like, it's hot. I want to do my makeup, but I don't want to do a full face, you know? And the just the way I did it, it was just so simple, so easy, and it came out so good. And so I was like, you know what? Why not showcase this on my channel? And, you know, just so you guys can see it because it is the summertime. It's hot. Like, I, f I understand. I completely understand. So this is going to be a quick easy tutorial or video how to do it because some of the steps again you don't have to do it if you don't want to do it you feel me so yeah let's get into this video okay so this step is optional this is one of those steps that you don't have to do unless you want to do it sometimes if i feel like it is my eyebrows so again eyebrows to me like you see mine are naturally like whatever but sometimes pe some people have to do it depending on how your eyebrows look and th different things like that but like this is optional for me so today i feel like doing it so i'm going to do my eyebrows and yeah so i just brushed them up and literally like i'm not going to do cr go crazy again for my eyebrows because i don't feel like it and yeah today's one of those days where it's hot like it's hot so anytime like with your like with no makeup makeup look i think it's very important to always like um make sure your skin part your base is good too like you want to make sure you do your um what's it called your skin routine like you know use a cleanser moisturizer all those things that really just enhances the like the naturalness of your um of your skin and stuff like that like you just want to make sure you do for like on fresh clean skin and yeah so that's what like i like to personally do is just like i love i love doing like like a face mask and things like that um so i just i think that's just so simple you know i love a face mask it just makes me it just relaxes me it's one of those things that i just always found like kind of like a little therapeutic and yeah so i just think it's always it's just cool to like be able to not cool but like i just personally like the skin care routine part especially with this weather being so hot and things like that like you just want for me personally i don't want to have a full face of makeup like sometimes like i just don't feel like it like i just don't feel like it and i think that's perfectly fine and if you don't feel like doing your makeup every like every step every day and things like that like you just sometimes you just don't want to like you know it's just like why why if i don't feel like doing it why do i why am i doing it you know that's me personally i just like to do things that make me feel good or look good you know i'm not the best at eyebrows so don't like if you're looking for a tutorial for eyebrows don't look at me don't look don't look at sis because this she ain't it you know she is not it so per personally um if i didn't feel like doing my brows like i would just literally just maybe like just shape them and just go in with like um concealer and just do that again this that's why i say this step is optional like if you don't want to do or like those days where you just you just your eyebrows are like hitting you maybe don't need to do that step you know so again I feel like all of this is just interchangeable so after I do my eyebrows I go in with a primer primer is so important if you're doing your makeup you want a flawless base you want it to feel look smooth and good and ready so that's what I will be going in with next again all these products you could do so many different ones that work for you like with the ones that you have at your house you don't need to go out and buy new ones because i'm using these ones like you use the ones that you that work for you you know you can use any of the ones that you have at your house your own personal house and use it to do your own makeup you know like you don't have to like 
go out and spend money especially with how much everything is costing nowadays like let's not even get into that situation this actually is a primer i'm using that is new to me like um my mom actually gets like the ipsy and um which i used to get before but then i just i canceled it but this primer came in it and i this is my second time using it i like it though okay so now i'm going to go in with the concealer the concealer i'm starting off with is one that's like matches more of my skin complexion which is i used for um highlighting under my eyes my eyebrows and so i'm going to just take some right here here so yeah kind of look like a little so I don't know what I look like and I'm gonna just go with the beauty blender and just blend it on out these are places where like I put it is places where the Sun or the light naturally hits your, hits your face so that's where that's what you want is to highlight those areas Okay, so I blended that part out, and so then I'm gonna go in with my other concealer. Um, sometimes, like people want to do like more that is like close to your skin complexion, things like that, or like a highlighting one. I just also I just really like um, Fenty. I just put a little. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend that on out as well. So yeah. So yeah, I use, usually use like the second one to like make it a little brighter, if anything. And so yeah, so the next step I'm gonna go into go in with is bronzer. You can use contour or like contour, but I prefer bronzer. I always just usually use bronzer, so that's what I'm more like used to. I want to try con contouring, but like I never tried it yet. So should I try like actually like using contour powder and stuff like that? Cause like I would be like interested in that, you know. Okay, so after I do just a little powder, not going too crazy. Um, I am gonna go in with a little blush because I just like having blush on my face. Like I know it's probably not like be natural, but like to me, like I don't know, just a little like little shine. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish this up with a little highlighter. Highlighter is also optional. You don't need to highlight if you don't want to. Um, this just adds a little glow, you know, to your face, like a little shine. Why can't I open this? I'm just gonna add like a little, go in with my little fan brush. Just a little, not too much. Look at that, just a little. Like I'm not going like crazy at all. And then the last thing I want to do, well actually two things. I want to add just a little mascara, just the add some like you know situation to the eyes to the eyes again i'm not going like too heavy with like all of it as well just a little something to the lashes okay so that was that part and then the last part for this no makeup makeup look is i'm just gonna add a little bit more like gloss to my lips hey guys so this is the finished product this is my no makeup makeup routine. It's just so light. Like, honestly, I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup right now. I just, you know, I don't want to, in the summertime, be wearing, feel like I'm wearing, like, a bunch of makeup. Literally, a lot of these steps you don't have to do. That's why I'm, like, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, literally a couple of steps. So, it's, it's just you need a primer. You need concealer. You need a blush. Well, you need a bronzer slash contour and you need mascara and a lip. I think 
blush is also like well and blush i'll say six blush you don't have to highlight if you don't want to or you don't have to i think blush and highlight is going to be interchangeable so you don't have to wear blush if you don't want to or you don't have to wear the highlighter i think one of the two should be a staple also to eyebrows is also optional depending on how you feel or how you are about your eyebrows those are like more optional looks also to a powder you don't have to but if you want to you could do the powder i like to do a powder powder just to set everything make sure everything is looking good and crisp but a lot of these steps you don't have to do so again this is like a quick under 10 step literally i think it's like under 10 steps that you have to do for a no makeup makeup look i think this is perfect for if you're working at, the, at a job and you want to look like presentable or whatever but you don't have to this is all like optional you feel me so again if you're going to do a no makeup makeup look you just make sure you have primer you have concealer you have a bronzer slash contour you need a lip you need something on your lip lip gloss chapstick something you want some lip chip? You want some? a highlighter slash blush Again, you could do mascara. You don't have to do mascara unless you have falsies. Um, just everything is just so simple and so quick. Literally, this took longer because I was talking. But honestly, this could be a quick, like, a quick makeup routine for you. You don't have to spend, like, a, a half hour, hour or so doing your makeup. This could be, like, a 10, 15-minute routine, if that. I'll say, like, a 10-minute routine depending on how fast you want to do it. For me, I could have done this faster, but I was talking, so it's going to be a little longer. But on a normal basis, if I want to do this look, it's going to be a quick, like, 10-minute routine. Like, when I did it the first time, it was, like, 10 minutes, you know? Also, too, you don't have to do two con um, concealers. I did two because I want one closer to my skin collection, but then also one that brought... Uh, added that brightness so you, but again you don't have to do you don't have to do it but i hope you guys enjoy this no makeup makeup look because this is a finished product make sure you like you comment and you subscribe make sure you like let me know if you would do something like this you know um also make sure you're checking back because every saturday i post at two so just make sure you're on the lookout and i've been doing really good with consistency and i'm super proud of myself so yeah if you want to see more videos like this or like videos of me trying on clothes or styling clothes or vlogs this channel is for you okay so make sure you come back and yeah i'll see you next time in another video